Today, we're speedrunning through Draw Stickman Epic 2, and we'll start our speedrun as soon as we click on continue, and right away, might as well address the elephant in the room. My Stickman is beautiful. Yep, I worked really hard on this guy, and he's gonna be really good for us on speedrunning this game. But first, what we're gonna wanna do is go and make sure these trees grow some leaves, including one of these so we can skip a cutscene. Because that's basically what this game is about. Well, not just growing leaves, but using our pencils to interact with the world. Right now, we only have the leaf pencil, and you can see that it gets rid of that like purple goo, but we'll be getting more and more pencils as we go through the game. Right now though, I'm just talking to a villager. They're telling me all the terrible things that that goo monster did to them. I don't really care, but I guess thank you for telling me. And there's also the scientist who really wants me to save them, but I'm going to completely ignore it because I got to go down. We have just enough health to make it through there. Then we're going to the checkpoint and dying right away. After that, we can respawn at the checkpoint. We're going to take this downwards path because drawing a tree right here will skip another short cutscene and also go through another one of these paths. This one is very specific, but we just made it. So that's perfect. And that's probably the best I've ever done this level. So I'm pretty proud of it. Now we got to go through a little cutscene where the entirety of the terrain is changing. That's what's going to happen between each of the eight chapters. It's always going to be the same map, but different things in it. And now we're going to go grab this book because that's basically our sketchbook where we can make our different characters and tools. And I mean, they're pretty cool, but I don't really have time to worry about that. Instead, we're going to chapter two, the wasteland. And you'll see this place. Yep, it's pretty desolate. And all the villagers are not having the greatest times in the world. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this pickaxe. I already made what my pickaxe is going to look like. And I know he's also beautiful, just like me. But we're going straight over to the right because the only person we really care about here is going to be the scientist. And that's because they really want to get that gear on the other side of these rocks. And they know if we get all of those gems, they can create a solution, which will make those rocks into ones that we can mine. So we got to go around finding the right rocks. All of them are going to have an X on them if they have one of the gems. So we can get this one right down here by the chef. We can get this one over to the right. And finally, all the way over here on the right, we get the last one. And by the way, this is something I like doing. I like pretending I'm going to help the fishermen and then just not doing it. Always feels good to break people's hearts. But after that, the scientist is going to come by their house, make whatever solution they want to. And we're going straight over to these rocks for them to break, which yeah, I do not know how this thing is this effective, but it works really well. And I don't really care any more than that. So now we got what we needed out of that person and we're never going to talk to them again. Well, actually, we do have to talk to them again, unfortunately, but never out of want, just out of necessity. Now we're going straight over to the left. We're going to draw some tree leaves right there so we don't get murdered by the purple and we can break a couple of rocks. Now, finally, we just got to make it through these couple of rocks as well and we can get our next piece of paper right by the cave. So that's going to be chapter two completed. And now we're going into chapter three, the ink mine. This one's going to start us inside the cave and there's another pencil right by us already, which is going to be our wire pencil. You'll see I can use it on things like this to connect this switch over to the electricity and I'll also use it right here. All the wires that we need to connect are going to be color coded. Then we can go straight down on this left and we're going to have a couple more puzzles, which I guess aren't really puzzles. It's more just, hey, draw a couple things but we do have to wait out this purple guy otherwise he's going to destroy our wire and we don't really want that so then we can come over to the right where we got to connect these two things and sometimes the wires are very finicky we'll try over this way it doesn't matter if we go through the rock it just kind of works and we can start that mining car then while that's doing its thing we also want to come over to the left and start the other mining car this is because the mining cars take a while to move so we might as well do as much as we can while we're waiting for them now i'm going to come over to the bottom of the map where first i want to connect that red stuff. I want to make that tree. And then we're going to connect both this yellow wire and finally this other red wire on the other side, which is going to cause another one of these lifts to come up. After that, it's pretty much just walking over there. But it is important in this part that I didn't get hit at all just because it's going to be safer for this boss battle. So you'll see we made it to the bottom of the cave and there's going to be our old friend box on the other side. Basically, the story of this game is you make two stickmen. The first one is just the line guy I have. And the second one is the box, but some ink turns him evil. Now we have to defeat him save our friend, all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to go over here, draw a couple more leaves on there. And this bat is really annoying. He actually almost killed me. I'm at half a heart. Okay, this should be fine. I just have to not be dumb. We're going to go ahead, press that switch. So that's going to be nice. And now all we have to do is draw one more wire to this green stuff, which is going to power the mining device. And it's going to cut a hole in the purple liquid, which also that thing is so creepy. It's like a hand. Is that what it's supposed to be? Anyways, Box is going to get very upset. He's going to go ahead, take the key pencil and tell us about all the people he's going to murder, stuff like that. Too bad for him. I don't really care about these people. But all of this liquid is going to start coming up. 
so we're on a time limit. Now, what we have to do is just draw two more wires. One is going to be the blue one, and then also the yellow one, making sure they don't touch. And I'm also going to take this heart because it's going to be useful for a few tricks later. And finally, we can get up to this last little lift, and that's also going to bring us to our next piece of paper. That's chapter three done, and now we're moving on to chapter four, A Town in Need. And this one is kind of annoying because the paper is right there, but this bird, for whatever reason, decides it's going to pick the paper up with its beak and just sit on this house. So to get the bird back down, we gotta make some soup. Luckily, I know exactly where to go. All of these villagers want us to do something for them. But first, we gotta head straight up here so we can destroy this rock, move that fish downwards, and then we can also get our next pencil, which is going to be the rain one. And just as the name suggests, we can draw rain clouds wherever we want, like right here. We'll then connect that over to this device, and I'm gonna start heading down. But in the middle of me heading down, the scientist has whatever that is. I don't really Really know if I would trust to put that in my soup, but I guess it's fine. And now we're right over here so we can also get our next thing, which is going to be a carrot from the farmer. And yeah, you're probably starting to get what we have to do for this level. How about all these people so they can make the soup that we need and we can get our paper, which means the third person is going to be the fisherman. You'll remember that we got the fish for him earlier in the level when we got our pencil and this fish also looks very derpy, but he's sure not going to be derpy when he gets murdered in soup, right? Except actually he just takes out salt. And that is all the fishermen wanted for him. I don't know why the fisherman didn't have his own salt, but I guess it works. So finally, we're heading over in this direction where we want to do two things to this tree. First of all, make a rain cloud and then also give it its leaves, which is going to cause the miner person to come over to this rock and we can actually help them mine it with our pickaxe and that's going to give them the coals, which they'll be able to put under the pot. So now all they need is one last thing, which is water. We can draw a rain cloud and that's going to finish the soup. And I mean, for all the weird stuff we put in it, it doesn't look too bad. And the bird also agrees with that. And that's why finally it's going to drop it right on top of us so that cutscene can start while they're doing another cutscene. Just a little time save. Now we're on to chapter five, which is gonna be Snake Lake. So right away, we're gonna wanna head upwards to see this feather. And you'll see there's also a bird with our next pencil. And these birds are very weird because whenever we touch their feathers, they come in pick us up and then drop us where they are. I don't really understand why, but it works. Anyways, I'm gonna steal this pencil, make some babies with it because now we can draw eggs. And yeah, I know that's a beautiful egg. I agree as well. And it's gonna make a beautiful bird, which we can use to travel across this vine. For our next bird, first of all, we gotta get rid of this rock because there would be a snake in there that would eat the egg. And we don't want that to happen. I also don't know how the snake would fit that egg in its mouth, but we did what we needed. That's gonna take us right down. And now we just have to cross this purple area which to do that we got to go along these tracks and you'll see over here on the minecart for some reason they have a tree i feel like this is a very sad existence for the tree <laughs> to have to be on a minecart but i mean it helps us out so i'm not going to complain we'll just go connect some wires which how did that one not work yeah the wires are one of the most finicky things in the game okay that should be good now we can start the minecart as you can see it's just going to get rid of all the purple stuff as it moves by which means it's going to be perfect to help us pass by here. It's also fun because we can just get it to run us over and it's gonna move us. I don't even have to move on my own, but then we will move over to this rock and we're finally getting onto our next boss fight as soon as I get to this checkpoint, which you'll see this vine wasn't actually a vine the entire time. And also this is one of the longest things. How is that so long? But as the name implies, it's a snake because you know, snake, like it kind of makes sense. But all right, I'm gonna wanna head straight to the right. And unfortunately, for some reason, my game is bugged. I looked it up and there are only a few people who have these bugs, but the camera doesn't move like it needs to. So what I need to do during this part is increase my screen resolution so you can only see part of it. Literally, this is spanning over both of my two monitors right now, just so I can actually complete this level. But finally, once we get through a couple of things, I can set my resolution back to normal and you can actually see what I was doing. So sorry about that. For some reason, there's no way I can fix it and yeah, it kind of sucks. But anyways, we just want to get the snake to eat that thing. We can get this paper and that's going to be level number five. Now chapter six is going to be the frog bog and straight away, we're going to be heading over to the left where there's going to be a nice place for us to draw an egg. And you can see there are plenty of frogs which are going to try to lick us. They have very long tongues and there's also snakes here too. I thought we like took care of their mother, but I guess the little ones are still here. And there's the scientist who's like, hey, you should do something for me. But I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to talk to you. I'm just trying to go fast. But since 
we set that bird up earlier, we can now get this feather and it's going to carry us to the top of the mountain, which is convenient because the top of the mountain also has our ice pencil. But before I head out of here, I also want to go inside the cave just to get one more heart because it's going to be nice for tricks we do later as well. After that, we can actually restart the level and everything we collected, we still have, which will save us a little bit of time instead of having to go down the normal way. So now we can go through the village and you'll see now we have this ice pencil so we don't have to worry about the water. We can go straight through it. And it's also great because we can use it on these frogs. So the frogs are going to get frozen too. Yeah, I kind of feel a little bit bad about them, but to be fair, they are trying to eat me. So I guess I can't feel too bad. Anyways, what we're going to do is draw a couple of rain clouds and these trees and just go through this purple stuff because I don't really care. Now, I really don't want to take that much damage because we're about to be into our next boss fight. And this one's pretty hard. Now we got this ghoul guy, which I do want to freeze because that guy will actually come inside of our boss fight. He doesn't go away. So yeah, we just want to get rid of him right away. And now we have three frogs and every single one of them is going to have to lick this pole. So I want to get out of my way. I only have three and a half hearts and I believe every single hit does a full heart of damage. So yeah, I don't want that to happen. But basically what we have to do is get each one of these frogs to lick this pole. So there's going to be the first one. We're going to draw ice right away, which is going to freeze one of the frogs. The other can keep moving. Again, we're just going to stand right at this pole. That guy hit me. Okay, I guess it was only half a heart, but it does really get hard on the last little bit because if you are not careful, then when it gets to only one frog, he jumps so fast. Okay, I was expecting him to jump up high right away. But anyways, we can just finish this one off. He'll hopefully lick the pole and that's going to be the end. I can get the paper and we can move on to chapter seven, which is going to be snow soliciting. And you can see we're finally almost at the castle. It's only this one and chapter eight left. Now, right away, we're going to want to head to the right. We have to draw ice right here with this very weird path and also some people that are probably going to try to murder me, but I'm not going to give them the chance because I don't know. I don't really want to be their friends or anything. Now we can go by the village. These people are very much not happy with their current situation. To be fair, I also don't really care. All I care about is getting this sword and right away we want to restart the level just like we did before because that's going to put us back at the beginning and we can use this sword to take care of these ropes and make it into their hideout. Now we got to make it to the top of this mountain and since we have so many hearts I don't have to worry about them doing any damage to me at all. We'll go ahead and draw that egg right there and yeah we kind of just chill on this platform because once it hatches there's this big bird and yeah he's the homie. So we get up here. Now we just have to ride these things for a while. There is some guy who's trying to beat me up, but I don't really care about him. And finally, we can make it to the top of the mountain, which I wish it was a pretty cool boss. I mean, this guy looks insane. It looks like a really fun boss, but then you notice what its attacks are. It just kind of hits the ground for a while, slams its hand down, and then it's also going to slam one of these rocks so we can draw an egg. Then after a while, that egg is going to hatch and make a dragon, which will blow fire on him. And yeah, we pretty much just go through the same thing. He's going to slam his hands a couple of times on the fourth one. We can hit it with our sword. He's going to get angry again, slam a rock. So we're going to draw an egg. So I'm not going to waste your time. I'll let you know when we're on the last one. All right, finally, he's going to slam his hand for the fifth time. Also break that open so we can draw our last egg. You can see all of our dragons going at him. And now we get the blue one. And all of the red dragons got goo on them. And you might notice there are five dragons. And that's because there are also five villagers. Each one of the dragons is going to take a villager. And now we have to save them. Thankfully, we still have the blue dragon. So he's going to be able to take me down. And we're going to be able to get this piece of paper. There is a heart there, but to be honest, I don't really need it. So we'll take the piece of paper. And we're finally making our way to chapter number eight which this one is going to be the Inkville Fortress. And with this chapter, we also get the key pencil. Now there are going to be multiple different colors of keys we have to use. The first one will be the purple one. But again, just like with the pickaxe and the sword, I already made them. So for this level, I just need to choose them. But right away, we're going to start walking up this very ominous hallway. I'm not even going to lie. I don't want to be here. And once we make it in, it's going to be the whole cliche. Oh, there are gates behind us. And every single one of our friends is trapped behind bars. Okay, well, they're not really my friends. I don't really have any emotional connection to them. But I'm pretty sure my stick man cares about them. And we can also see Box flying. And he shows us that his plan is going to be turning every single one of the villagers into an evil person. Now, that would be slightly inconvenient for me. So I got to save them. First of all, we'll just make some ice go straight through here. And then we're going to be able to use our rain cloud pencil to get that bucket to fill up with water and be heavier. Then we'll take out our green key. Normally, you would want to use your pickaxe on that statue. So then you can see what color you want. But since I'm speed running, I already know. And now you'll see that that bucket is filled with water. So that gives us the perfect opportunity to come over here where there's going to be the blue key. So I'll... Oh, 
Dude, dude, please skip back. Okay, anyways, that was really weird, but that's gonna get our third person. Now for this one, we'll set up a little early by using this TNT. The scientist has a lot of stuff you have to do to save, but we can save that person very easily. I'll be honest, it wasn't even a challenge. Go straight over here, get this bucket, which is going to give us another platform. And for this one, it's really colorful and would require a lot of keys. So instead we can use our sword to just get rid of the rope. And finally we have the scientist. So we're going to go over here. It's going to be another one of these. Please do not mess up for no reason. Perfect. So we can hit the switch and also go over to our orange key to finally finish that part out. But even though we saved all the villagers, we still got to worry about Box and his army of dragons. So how the game does the dragons is it makes you fight them alone, or at least for the first one it does. Then it will give us two dragons. So what we can do is draw that ice around them, which gives us the perfect opportunity to murder them very painfully. And finally, we have the last two dragons. Pretty much the exact same thing. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'll be honest. I'm not really that sorry. But after that, this guy is going to murder Box. So unlucky we didn't get to save our friend. I mean, to be fair, I only really knew him for like a minute. But anyways, this guy decides that we're the more powerful one. So he wants to take our body. And for some reason, he also flies down here, which is the whole reason why his plan failed. But I mean, you know what? Live and learn. Anyways, we have all of our not friends go ahead and build something for us. So the first one is going to mine here. The farmer is going to till the soil. The cook is going to plant an acorn. The fisherman is going to use his fish to squirt water on the acorn. And the scientist is going to use some chemical to grow a tree right away. And you know what trees do? They get rid of the ink. So we'll be able to walk slowly over there until we make it to the end. And our ink creature is going to die, giving us the time of 2703. Oh, and then we live happily ever after. So yeah, but that's going to give me second place on speedrun.com and I'm going to take it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.